Good morning guys. It's about 6 a.m. in the morning. I think I even woke up maybe at 5. I've just been chilling in bed to just tossing and turning. I kind of did not have the best day yesterday. Um, I almost got arrested and I think that just has been bothering me and affecting me. Like Jana, when I came home, I went to sleep around 11.30 p.m., which is really late for me. I'm an early sleeper. And usually when I have a busy day like yesterday and then sleep late, usually the following day I would wake up maybe 8 a.m. Like I would really sleep in. But for some reason, I had actually set my alarm for 6.37. But I was like, I was deep sleep and then I would turn to sing in a potato. That's what happened. And so I just decided to wake up. In my previous video, I think I mentioned that one of my errands, Jana, was to go to Safaricom to get Wi-Fi so that I can be able to be uploading my vlogs. But due to an incident that happened, Jana, I decided I'm never going to go back to that Safaricom shop. I'd rather walk to Mombasa or Kisumu or wherever in the country to go to a safaricom shop. So I've decided to go to Nairobi this morning. Uh, since that anime I'm come up, I'm kind of sleepy, but I guess I'll sleep in the car, hopefully. So I've decided to wake up early um, so that I can go to Nairobi and go to the safaricom shop and see if I can be able to purchase Wi-Fi equipment so I'll try to bring you guys with me during my day as best as I can and I hope you have a better day than I had yesterday thank you for watching I don't know if you guys can see Susie she's in my shamba lately she's been hanging out in my shamba she looks like she's digging for something. Susie is here. She heard me call her name. She heard me speak. But uh, yeah, I just kept to check on these folks before I leave. Make sure work on a maji. I also put some water. I see some feathers. I need to replenish their food. And then leave them. Um, they don't seem to be <coughs> eating all the food. Squishy day coffee. So she thinks I'm giving them something that she can eat, but not really. This is chicken food. So I'll look at the rest here. And then go add them. Some food. You are check your sour. Yeah. Then I had breakfast, which was basically cake and tea. So we came back late and we just made ugali mboga and some nyama for dinner and that was it for this day. Good morning guys. I just woke up. It's almost 10 a.m. I had the best sleep ever. I had a long day jana. Woke up early. Uh, went to Nairobi and I came back. I actually went to the Safaricom store in Nairobi and I was able to buy a Wi-Fi router which I'll be using now the internet to upload my vlogs. Welcome to my day and I hope you have a great one yourself.
So I later noticed that this chick was kind of sickly and I didn't know what was wrong with it. At first we even thought maybe it had broken a leg but it just was acting weird and we just couldn't tell what was wrong but we could tell it was sick. that it was suffering from some kind of cold so we kept it in a private room we then did other chores around the home but noticed this big bird that actually grabs small chicken and eats them that's why we ensure that they are kept safe in their cages Hey girl, Sasa. I built the house I also built an underground tank to store extra water and I usually use that water to water the trees and so on this day when we went to fetch the water we found that there were two birds that had died uh, I think they had jumped into the tank without us knowing previously and so we found them there and got rid of them 